15, 10, and five were my rep schemes for this workout. What does that mean? Find out in this video. What's going on guys, Coach Malik here and welcome to another workout voiceover. Uh, today's gonna be a push day and we are going to focus mainly on our upper chest and our shoulders. Um, we have a little bit of shoulder work and bicep work later, but we always gotta get those biceps in. And today's gonna be a push day, so the 10, 15, or the 15, 10, five scheme I was talking about was something that I felt um, in the la lately in the last couple weeks, I've been kind of in that spot between programs and I've been just feeling up my body and lately I've been liking to go a little bit high rep and heavyweight. And so what I've been doing is the first set, what I do is I go 15 reps and you'll see here I do 10 reps and I kind of forget, come back and do five more. But that's the rep scheme for the first set is 15 reps, not too heavy, and you're doing the weight, you're controlling the weight, and you're kind of working at a tempo, and you're exhausting the muscle just a little bit, but not too much, because you're still going heavy later on. The second set, we're gonna add, a, see that's where I backed up. I forgot, I was like, I got five more. Um, the second set will be 10, and when you do the 10 rep one, you're gonna wanna increase weight from that first set. So you're not gonna wanna do that first set the same way, or that second set that same way as the first set. You're gonna wanna increase. How you increase is basically how you felt on that first set. So if that first set was a little bit, you know, very challenging for 15, maybe add a little bit more weight, five pounds, 10 pounds. Uh, if that first set of 15 was easy, go 10, go 20, go 25 maybe. So try that out, go 15, 10, and then on that last set, I did four sets here on that shoulder press because I really want to get my shoulders and my upper chest. Um, I feel like this exercise works my body upper chest, so I'm trying to get that built out over the summer. And so I did four sets, but this would be technically my first set of five where I go a little bit heavier. So I put five kilos on, I didn't put another 10 on yet. I was feeling this one out first last week. Didn't really feel good for that third 10. <laughs> my shoulders were really given out last week after July 4th, man. Couldn't really hang in the gym for another week, but now I'm back getting a little bit um, strength gained. And um, so I go ahead and try three tens. I don't believe I got five reps, I believe I got four. Of course, we gotta get that playlist going, gotta get that right song going for this for this pump. Now, David Goggins, if you guys know him, always says it's cheating listening to music when you're working out. David, I'm gonna have to um, disagree on that point, um, but I love all your all your other stuff. So I'm going here, go one, felt that, used a little bit of leg drive to help me out, because obviously, you know, I'm not trying to get hurt, so I'm using everything I can. I believe that's rep three and then a rep four. And see how I'm using my breath. A lot of people don't utilize their breathing to help them when they're lifting. When you're lifting heavy weights or when it's heavy to you, you know, when your rate of perception is high, you know, control your breathing. Usually you embrace your core when you exhale. So um, think about really like inhaling before you push and then on that hardest part of the movement, whether it's a pull or push, exhale and you'll be able to do a little bit more weight. Um, so after the shoulder press, four sets, I actually uh, supersetted those with pull-ups. I just only was able to record one set. So I did pull-ups here for 10 reps each. It wasn't a pull day, it was more of a push day. But um, you know, knowing me, I, I really like to do something, you know, even if it's a push day, I still like to do a little bit of pull. You know, we're doing a little bit of biceps later too. I'm doing hammer uh, pull-ups, so I'm not doing full wide grip pull-ups. These are hammers where my uh, hands are neutral grip, palms are facing each other, so a little bit less impact on the back, and then I go to incline dumbbell press. Now I was gonna do the barbell, because I feel like barbell, I'm able to do a little bit more weight and it's a little bit more straining, and I like to do that in the beginning of the week, because this was a Monday, but it wasn't available. So I substituted. Guys, if it's not available, don't skip it, just substitute for that same muscle on a different exercise. There's plenty of options. Uh, there was another machine I could have used, but I wanted to use some free weights. So I started off here, 15 reps, this set, again, that 15, 10, five rep scheme. Uh, this is 10, I'm going a little bit heavier. And breathing, see how I'm exhaling as I'm pushing? I'm exhaling on that hard part of the movement. So as you guys are doing a push or a pull, whatever you guys are doing, again, focus on your breathing. It's gonna really help you out and be more efficient during your lifts. After that, I superset it a little bit with lateral raise. Um, you don't have to do this. I just do this because I don't like to rest a lot during my workouts, especially lately. Uh, I like to get them in and get them done, so I don't rest that much. But if you have time and you're trying to rest, you can either do these afterwards, not do them, or um, just focus on the presses, just depending on what you want. If you're going for strength, 
I would recommend just focusing on the presses. But if you're going for more cardio, more of a superset type of a workout, add these in. Uh, these are a great kind of burner uh, while you rest. Now we're going for that five rep scheme, that 15, 10, five. Here we go, heavy. Um, again, worrying about my breathing, embracing my core, and again, trying to use everything. And my AirPod fell out, of course. See, every time I do, pre every time I do presses or anything incline, my AirPods fall out. Does anyone else have that problem? I swear my ears are so, I, I, I don't see anyone else's AirPods just falling out like that. Man, anyway. Control the breathing. This is gonna help you out a lot. Lift more weight, do more reps, and be able to get results faster. So try that. Those I think I did a little bit more than five just because I was feeling it. I think the headphone popping on my ear kind of triggered me. Um, after the incline press, we move on to dips. Now the dips I do here are just body weight. I'm not adding any weight. Um, I could have used the machine for this as well, depending on what you have access to in your gym. But I wanted to do body weight just because I'm trying to get a little bit more calisthenics going. Um, as I'm getting older, I want my joints to survive. And so I think calisthenics are good for your joints and strength at a combination. So I try to do that first and then I use the machines after. Here we're doing a bicep curl on the machine. Um, adjust the weight in the machine to your height and your level. And I'm just doing 15 reps. So this one, again, it's not a push day, so I'm not going heavy, or it's not a pull day, it's more of a push day, so I'm not going heavy on the bicep curls. I'm more just focusing on, all right, can we just keep my heart rate up, and can we keep, um, honestly, a pump going in the arms? So I'm doing these. This is one of my favorite machines uh, machines in the gym. It's like a preacher curl slash uh, incline curl, um, so I really like that. After that superset, I did those two for three sets, the, the tricep dips and the bicep curl machine. After that three sets, um, my camera's about to die, so I had to hurry this up. I did reverse flies. I did three sets here as well. And then I superseted this with chest flies. And that was pretty much my workout, guys. Um, didn't do much after that except stretch, because you guys know stretching is key. You know, there's uh, pillars to fitness. People realize, like, oh, I'm, I'm going to lose weight, and then I'm going to build muscle. It's all one circle. Build muscle and lose weight at the same time. Add cardio to your routine, strength and conditioning. Um, and then stretching mobility. Um, as I get older, I start to realize these are more important. I used to make fun of them when I was younger. I used to make fun of my older trainer friends and they were like, oh, wait till you're my age. And I was just always laughing at them. So I don't laugh at them anymore. I agree with them. So try that out, guys. If this helped, uh, subscribe, like this video and share it with your friends. And until next time, be certain in your skills, be certain in yourself and be consistent in your actions because consistency is key. See you next video.